Hey guys, so today we're going to take three of my favorite artists and we're going to turn them into watercolor cakes using fondant, food coloring, and a magic sauce. I love the way these turned out. The pictures of these cakes look like they could be posters. So let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Ryan Seekers. I'm the host of American Idol and I'm also a cake decorator on the YouTubes. Um, as you can see, the wallpaper didn't come in yet, so it still looks like I live in a... I don't know if I want to make that joke. <laughs> it looks like trash. I'm supposed to be painting this Friday so that it's ready for the wallpaper, but who knows? I'm lazy. I, it'll probably be next Friday because Again, I'm lazy. Now to create these cakes, I looked, um, now for these cakes, um, now for these cakes, I was thinking about a lot of different artists. Did I want to do Brittany? Did I want to do Christina? Or Maya? Or everyone who was in the Moulin Rouge song? I know Brittany wasn't, but she should have been. But I chose these three because they're the most relevant and trending. <laughs> but apart from that, it's also because I love them. So let's get to the first one. So the first cake we're going to be creating is Belly Eilish. Now I decided to make this cake green because I loved when she had black hair, but her roots were green. I thought that was so striking. Just as striking as her eyes. I'm doing all the cake basics. We've got the cake, we've got some buttercream in between each layer, then I'm gonna cover the entire cake with buttercream and then add on a very thin piece of white fondant. I'm gonna use this piece of fondant as my canvas and then I'm going to outline all of Billie Eilish's features. You're seeing like 30 seconds of this, but this took me a long time because this outline is the base for all of my watercolor decorations. After that, I diluted some food coloring with some magic sauce and I started to add all of my watercolor paint. For this cake, I decided to go with this version of Billie Eilish because I made it around the time that she revealed her blonde hair. I was kind of scared that the blonde hair would make her unrecognizable, but her eyes are so striking that you know it's her right away. I loved how soft the corset photo shoot was. You know, her looks are usually very harsh and contrasted, but this was like totally opposite. Pastel colors, the way they looked against her skin, it just looked really nice. Now I was gonna go with that color scheme, but I wanted a lot more color, so I changed it. I had purples, greens, yellows, reds. Now I'm gonna give this a seafoam border. I just thought it would look really cool with all the other colors. And giving this border makes it look like a cake. Otherwise, it just looks like a painting that's <laughs> on a lifted piece of paper. Does anyone else pipe buttercream onto fondant cakes? I don't know if anyone else does that except for me right now. After the border, I added some sprinkles and my cake was complete. I'm so proud of this. This cake turning out as well as it did is the reason I decided to make more. Now the next cake we're gonna be creating is Olivia, o o Olivia Rodrigo. That's the best I can roll my R's. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Now for this cake, I decided to go with like a purple, but I, there's a there was a reason, uh, but I don't remember <laughs> anymore. So we got the cake basics, I'm covering with fondant. Then I started to create my outline for Olivia Rodrigo's face. Now there is a reference picture just off camera that I'm referring to so I can make sure that I get all of her features just right. Because faces are so hard. If you're not looking back and forth to the reference picture, it's very easy for this to just look like some other girl. <laughs> Originally, all of these cakes were supposed to be 3D fondant cakes and I was gonna create their faces the way that I created like the Scarlet Witch, but it's just so time consuming so I really have to pick and choose which ones I want to do in 3D cakes. However, there are a lot of people that I find inspiration from. There are a lot of musicians and so I thought it'd be cool to highlight them in a different way. Now I decided to go with a lot of different color blocking. So we've got pinks, blues, yellows, just going on to different parts of her face. I'm doing this with very diluted food coloring and then I'm gonna go back and add some less diluted food coloring to give it more color. She's really killing it, but you know, the thing that I really love about Olivia Rodrigo is she reminds me of a different time, like music from 2000. And what I mean by that is it reminds me, it, I, you know, it just makes me feel younger, like I'm a youngin, but I'm not. <laughs> Because there's so much color on her face, I decided to go with a white border, but in hindsight, a colored border would have made all the difference, but you know, I didn't, so these sprinkles have to work a little bit harder. And voila, my Olivia Rodrigo cake is complete. Bomb, right? Oh gosh. 
Now last but definitely not least, we're creating Little Nas X. Uh, and I decided to go with a seafoam green because I was, I was just really feeling it that day. And it just goes with this whole color scheme that I'm going to use to create his face. Now, I really wanted to make this cake for Pride Month because I just love how well he's doing. You know, growing up with hip hop, I never thought a gay artist would be so widely accepted and yet here he is. Just flippin' fabulous. Now when I was making this cake, I just had the sun goes down on loop. It is my favorite song. It reminds me of sunsets and walking on the beach. It is a stellar track. It brings back so many good memories and just reminds me of a time when I was able to chill and not be like held down by all of my adult problems. <laughs> now this color scheme is not mine. I was on Etsy like, looking at Little Nas X paintings. Somebody made this and I decided that I loved it so much that I wanted to do a watercolor version. I loved what he did. I don't even know if it's the original artist but I'm gonna link him in the description box so that if you wanted to buy his painting, you could. However, I think the watercolor version of this is pretty stunning as well. <laughs> So after the watercolor, I'm outlining with black very slowly so I can get all of his features. And I wish I could use that song as a background for this entire video, but no. YouTube has copyright laws. And so we're gonna put some poppy, random, generic, poppy sound music that I picked out, which is fine. But it's not The Sun Goes Down by Little Nas X, and that will always bother me. <laughs> I'm going with a lime green border, add some sprinkles, and voila, my Little Nas X watercolor cake is complete. Man, why did I just start doing watercolor? I should have been doing this years ago. I love the way these cakes came out and like I said in the beginning they look like they could be posters and something that would be so cool is just to take these and then just plaster a whole bunch of them on a wall. You know just a whole bunch of artists that I admire. That would be sick. But I only have three so far so in the comments let me know what artists you'd like to see me turn into a watercolor cake next. A lot of people want me to do Britney, I'm going to do Christina Aguilera. Growing up my life was Christina. I was dirty, I was beautiful, I was a genie in the box. Every single one of those songs, it was me. I'm curious, what artists were you enamored with when you were little? Oh, Lauren Hill. That was another one. I can't even begin to describe how much I love Lauren Hill. But let me know in the comments. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The stories that are going to be posted this coming week are going to be about Marvel zombies. You know, it's still August, but I'm already working on October content. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays and it just, it's the best. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.